Hey, it's Jebo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego. And I got a couple of packages we're going to be looking at. Uh, not Nothing too special. And unfortunately, neither one of these packages is from either Budapest or Canada. So I'm, I'm waiting on the pieces to finish the large windshield for the large tipper truck. Again, technically, I could go ahead and build it because you won't see these parts, these elements, when it's completed. Or I could use a different color, uh, which I may end up... I don't know. I'm just going to... I'm going to wait. I'm hope, hopefully, they'll come in the next couple of days. But we will see. <laughs> uh, but oh, the uh, that's the the most requested thing I've gotten recently is, you know, do, do it as a live stream with the build of the tipper truck, the large tipper truck. And we will see... I, Probably won't do it as a live stream because uh, I want to have a nice video for that. Uh, I may do a live stream of taking it apart, though. Can you see what the problems will be <laughs> taking it apart? Uh, but the other most requested question I've had is, uh, where do the light bluish gray turntables go on the cafe corner? So I had to go back and look because I couldn't remember. I knew they went in the uh, where the angled piece is. Well, uh, two of them are at the top near the little peak that has the birds in it and they're around other gray pieces you could substitute out black it probably wouldn't be that noticeable uh, but it would be it look like you have gray black gray black like that so you might want to make all the parts black I don't know and the same thing on the lower level uh, right above the door that's where the other two are. So there's four in the set. They are both, they're all four visible from outside of the, um, the, the, uh, the, the modular. So yeah, they would be, it would be a change, but who, who, who's going to notice if you want to use black ones, if you're piecing this together, if you want to use black instead of gray, I don't think it's going to be that noticeable, uh, especially if the pieces that are sandwiched around it, you also change uh, to black. So that was, got that out of the way. <laughs> oh, and also I heard there there's this rumor about the modular coming in January We're going to be a hotel, and some are speculating that it could be the cafe corner. And we'll talk about this on the A Fool podcast, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> they will not re-release exactly the same thing that was the cafe corner. If they do remake the cafe corner, I think it will have different parts in it and will be improved. I don't think it will be exactly the same. So don't worry about your value of your cafe corners if you collect them, but do worry about the value of your light gray turntables. <laughs> Those could drop in price. Could be easier to piece together an old cafe corner if that happens. That's one element that could um, come down in price. The others, I don't, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about it anyway. And they, if they do, I think it'd be great. I, I wouldn't, you know, some people don't like it when they re-release things. And usually when they do re-release stuff, there's always some kind of minor change. I mean, they did it with a lot of sets that were from the 80s and 90s. They re-released them. Wait, there was even one from the 70s they re-released. It was the uh, USS Constellation. <sighs> I wish I'd gotten both versions of those. I don't have either version. But uh, yeah, they, they, a set from the 70s they re-released. And very similar. And then they, you know, there's a lot more Metro Liner from the 90s. And there were many others, the Fort Legorado. So it's not anything new. If Lego was to re-release something like a Cafe Corner, I I don't know why they don't do more of that, especially the high-end demand stuff. It's like people are paying so much for this on the aftermarket. Why don't you make more? <laughs> I, kinda, I think the aftermarket, after a set's been discontinued, lets you know truly how good it did perhaps when it was in stores like there's a popularity to it and of course then again sometimes the high prices are because lego didn't make enough of them when they were out so who knows but anyway let's get to the uh haul now this first one is from flint's funhouse and let's see i don't think there's a wide variety of parts in here and there's not we have trans clear two by two round bricks which are like what's on top of the uh, windshield. I'm going to drop this thing and break it. Uh, so I'm going to make more, I'm going to be making more trans clear parts. I still need the macar macaronis. I got some two by four 
plates. These were going to be used on the um, 4x10 plate, but I already found a better alternative using 1x8 tiles. And this is just a bunch white of white macaronis. Uh, the, two, the corner brick, the curved corner brick, whatever. But um, I'm going to be making some white elements, including a 4x10 plate in white. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start. That's my next thing to start accumulating the parts. I probably should go take those parts out of my store. Oh, speaking of my store, I closed my store. It's going to be closed for a couple of weeks. I got too much going on right now. We're not going on vacation or anything, but there's with everything that the family's doing, I'm not going to be able to place orders or not. I mean, pick orders, uh, i.e. my wife is not going to be able to pick orders. <laughs> <laughs> so the the Brickling store is closed. I am never home when the post office is open, or usually I'm not home when the post office. So I don't. I usually can't take stuff to the post office. All right. So this next one, I forgot who this is from. Some guy named Dan. But I paid too much for these. But I I just got to get them. Uh, it's all windshields. For the tipper trucks so there's 30 should be 39 of them here and these are all in a various state of yellowness but he they were double what they should be in this store but when i look at comparable sellers that have the same quantity i i'm I, it's going to cost me more like if i was to buy 40 of these from a guy in germany or whatever it would cost me more so it's still cheaper than buying those even though i'm probably still going to buy those Anyway, but yeah, the lar he had the largest quantity in the U.S. Uh, no more. So I got this box of tippers uh, that I need to fix. I need to practice building tippers. What do you think possible in orange? So here is the tipper graveyard. I took windshields off of these to um, put there because there's 24 there. So let me reassemble what has been disassembled. <laughs> and so it, this is a little different. I've never... Um, I had to do this before, like repair a tipper. Usually I'm building them from scratch all the way through. So, yeah, let's see, there's one. I don't know how many, I, I really don't remember exactly how many I took, but definitely it was less than 24. <laughs> I needed 24 to build that giant thing, and then I, I already had a few, but uh, whatever was left. Okay, I need the tipper. So when I get done with this, I should see how many more tippers I can build. Because I think I've acquired some of the other elements, but this was the one that was holding me up. Uh, so I'll finish building all these, and then I'm going to see how many more that I can build. All right, so those are all repaired. I don't, I didn't count them. I got a bunch of tipper windshields left over, though. So I'm going to go see if I can build up some more. I want to thank Buggles Kelly 37 again for sending me the pictures of her custom tipper with the pink well. Uh, but anyway, so we have, or by we I mean me, I I have uh, <laughs> added 20 more. I built 20. I actually had a few more parts. In case you're wondering, the parts are in here. I had a few more windshields, but I need to acquire some more. Uh, of the yellow bricks. I got the yellow bricks in my store, but they're all new. I'm just using, I prefer to use used ones, which I have. I just got to go dig them up. But yeah, I built 20 more. I thought it was a good round number. I also found a broken tipper. Oh, that's so disappointing. Uh, hopefully the pin is somewhere in the bag where those were. But yeah, at a 20. So I don't know what the total was when I left off the last time building the tipper. So whatever that was, plus 20, unless I snuck another one in there. I'll have to go actually count them all again. I think we're over 400 or close to 400. Let me know in the comment. How many tippers do I have now? I don't know. I'm going to have to count them. Uh, so yeah, 20 more. So this is this in itself would be the second largest tipper truck army in the world. Uh, but when you add it to the other 300 plus. So thanks for watching as I add more tippers, tipper trucks to the tipper truck army. How many uh, will I get? Now this, I guess it'll never end. So I went a while without buying a lot of parts. And it was, you know, when I bought these windshields, it's like when I first got buying more and more parts for the tipper since we 
got to the goal for the year. Uh, but I've noticed that there's actually a few more have popped up on, on BrickLink. Not as many on eBay, like when I look at the complete set, like just for this. But the, the average price, you don't find these for like 4 or $5, like when I first started doing this. So it's usually 10 or more now. So I have apparently made the price go up uh, for these. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep buying out and I'm going to keep up. You know, I just placed an order from the guy who actually has 286 of the blue tippers. But he had two that were cheaper. I bought those. I think I placed an order from that guy. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. But yeah, somebody has 286 of them, but they're asking too much. If they would just cut their price in half, I would buy all of them. But anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you for uh, watching another haul video. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel by watching with your eyeballs or listening with your earballs. It's not earballs. What is it? It's earwax. But... Um, this video is not sponsored by AT&T, nor does AT&T endorse anything that I say. Uh, but they do have fast internet, and I like their commercials. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tipper Truck Army, hashtag. I, th I think it's the other way around.